account is supposed to be because I couldn't find anything in game yet. So we can click on this uh, question mark here to get more info about it. It says at the start of the open beta, you will receive special progression perks to reveal to be revealed at a later date. So basically, we don't have any real idea of what this is going to be like. Let's turn on a little bit of the light here. Um, it says open beta right now. It's closed beta. So I guess it's like I said yesterday, I think it's not implemented yet. So I don't know exactly what it's going to be like. I hope we're going to get more info on uh, that. Also interesting for some people, name transfer from CBT to OBT, from closed beta to open beta, which means the name you pick now in the closed beta, you will be able to get that later on when the game is finally, finally released. So you can basically reserve your name, uh, which is important for some people. Uh, yeah, badge and title on the portal. I don't know exactly what that is, but I guess that's not like super important. Very interesting about these founder packs is though um, the additional class Berserker. You don't get that with the cheapest founder pack. I think that's something some people will have to know. I'm playing the Berserker right now um, as I have one of those bigger <laughs> founder packs. Um, so be aware, you won't be able to play the Berserker with the smallest founder pack. And I bet you're not going to be able to play it as a normal free-to-play gamer as soon as it's going to be released. That's what I think. And uh, also, only with the biggest founder pack, which costs 70 euros, I know that's a lot of money, you get the Gunner class. Um, and the exclusive mount, you can see down here. So this is just what I wanted to show to you before I start playing the game again. Um, keep in mind, this is a free-to-play game. Um, you don't have to buy these founder packs. If you can wait, if you're patient enough, and if you're not like super crazy about the Berserker or the Gunner, um, could wait, or you could just buy the smaller founder pack. It's up to you, I think. I'm going to switch this because then I can see what you're actually writing here. Um, and let's go in game. Hello, Tweakman. <laughs> so where am I now? Um, for the people that just joined, I am playing the Berserker. Um, it looks like a super um, hero assassin girl. Yes. Um, I done, I've done some missions, I will just call them missions, yesterday, and I really, really like them. As you can see, the K is popping up, which means I can spend some of my sparks on the Extension Atlas, which is something like the Sphere Grid from Final Fantasy, if some people still know what that is. Um, I can learn a new ability. Flash of Rage. Press and hold the key. Once the attack is ready, the character will inflict blah 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 damage to all surrounding enemies. They really, really have a lot of AoEs with the Berserker, um, which I like. Press and hold. Okay. Let's get this. Next thing will be uh, some extra stamina. We can get this as well. One thing that's kind of that so far there's only oh, i think basically um is i have to go this certain route here there's no option for me to to go to the left to the right or wherever like there was on the sphere grid from final fantasy but um as you can see there is a long way ahead and there is or there will be one point where was it where I can actually s here, where I can actually decide do I go up or down, but here I could switch again to the other side, here again, and it, in the end I can just make a turn again. And of course these um, sphere grids, I will just call them, <laughs> you have those for every single class. 
So you will have to unlock skills and bonuses for every single class. Um, but you can play every single class with just one character. And yeah, where where was I now again? Oh, here. Uh, yes, I have enough for that. I have enough for that as well. Oh. Are we going down here? And yeah, no more sparks. Okay, but let's go to my character because I learned a new ability, the Flash of Rage. I am going to put this on a different hotkey. Furious Leap is okay. Fire Storm, Flash of Rage. Okay. I think I have a lot of stuff in my bag. Mm -hmm. Okay, I could buy some slots with my credits. How many credits do I have? I have 17,000 credits. That's nice. So maybe... Or I could just disassemble stuff. Uh, you can disassemble um items to get these enhancement stones and with those enhancement stones you can go on this you can upgrade your ornaments you see here in those uh, three lots yep for example here we could just upgrade this one Ta -da. we're just gonna disassemble I guess. Although we will have to see. Yeah, I have much better ones. Come on. Oh, that's good. He puts the best ones in the first slot. So. X spirit, Vela spirit. Hmm, Vela increases bonus damage. Luck increases, I guess, critical damage. Yes. Luck in spirit, Vela in spirit. Spirit increases impulse damage. So I guess I would go with Vela. Vela in spirit. Okay. So we can disassemble some stuff. Uh, yes. Yes! Lots and lots of rings here. I did a lot of missions yesterday, I also did some hard missions yesterday, that's why my bag is full with a lot of crap. <laughs> uh, I have different... A chain with 25 stamina... And that's better. Whirlwind and Firestorm inflict 40% more impulse damage. That's nice, let's see which one we have right now. That's like the same, is it? Oh, but this one has more stamina, so we're gonna pick that one. Good, good, good. Disassemble this. And we can disassemble this. Good. Mm-hmm. Gonna upgrade. Okay, what's happening now? Open the equipment window piece. Select the upgrade that you would like to improve and spend particles of mastery to increase its rank. Oh, I can increase its rank. Upgrade cost, particle of mastery. I don't know how many I have. That would be nice. Oh, about uh, 739. So we'll just. I okay. 
What's this cooldown for? Nice. I'm just gonna upgrade my stuff. Mm. <laughs> what are you compensating with that big sword of yours? I don't know, but you will see this big sword in action is actually pretty, pretty nice. And um, I'm going to show you how this works uh, now. Oh, I want like key bindings. Where can I find key bindings? Key bindings. Gold. Mm-hmm. Can I change them? Oh, thank you. Let's see. Awesome. Okay, that's my heal. Okay. Um things are heating up. Threat is growing. The difficulty of adventures and rewards from for them are increased. Okay. We have to go to Port Naori. That's what we're going to do now. Sea creatures have captured the port, impeding the evacuation of civilians from the Ori Island. Chase the monsters away so the people could get to safety. Yes. I remember this loading screen. I hope this is not just the exact same thing I did yesterday because that would be kind of lame, but we'll see. Okay. <laughs> this is the thing I did yesterday. Complete additional quests to receive a higher rating at the end of the adventure. The higher the rating, the better is the final reward to learn more about the additional quests. Press F11. Um. No. No. Okay. We'll just do this. And try to... Yesterday this was a difficult adventure for me, I guess, because my level um, wasn't high enough. And... Um, we'll see. So we're just gonna do this to warm up a little bit. Definitely much easier than yesterday. Spin to win, yes. With a berserker, definitely. I guess I will also show you the gunner just to show you if that's a good class or not because you can only get the gunner when you buy the big um, founders pack and I don't know if that's gonna be worth it. So far, the um, Berserker is a lot of fun, and um, you get the Berserker with the medium founder pick. Oh, oh, I, I have to run away, because when he's like enraged, um, oh, he does a lot of damage, and... Jump back in again. I don't get as much damage as yesterday, um, but he still 
Ah. Ah. Whoop. Yes, 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 yes. I'm moving. Forward a little bit. No. Oh, there. Ah, the whirlwind. So oh, he's nearly dead. Good. I have to collect a lot of healing orbs. Right number of dashes. Oh, I guess I have to do that in fight. Okay. Yep. For the bonus, um, Mm. For the additional quests here, I will have to do all of this stuff in fight. Like, uh, collect the healing orbs and uh, make a certain, like, like, 20 dashes. Yep. Coffee while doing this. Oh, ee, pretty sure. Hi. Dash, come on. Healing orb. I'm happy that this is uh, definitely easier than yesterday because that also means it will hopefully not take me forever. The good thing also is I know what to do, I know what to expect. And uh, we'll see how this works out. Healing orb. Uh oh, uh, that's what happens when you drink your coffee. <laughs> Finisher. Oh, I had to go up here, I think.
Oh yeah, that's like a boss and he will be joined by another one. As long as I avoid their stupid um, abilities, it shouldn't be a big problem. It just takes some time. Like, get out of the bubbly water here. Make sure that I collect all the healing bubbles when I need them. Come on. Yeah, but it's much faster than yesterday. No, I want to get out of her way because she's like always putting this put stuff down. Oh, that's my new skill. I didn't use it yet. Oh, that's nice. That's a big AOE skill. I don't need that now. Come on, dash. I want to get this bubble here. I only need one more healing orb for the bonus. Oh, he's dead. Good. For now. <sighs> yeah, that's the only stupid thing. Of course, she's putting this stuff on me. <laughs> get out of there just a lot of dashing and <sighs> oh hello everyone that <laughs> <I> joined <laughs> mm. he's going completely crazy here I have time. I will get you. <sighs> oh, come on. You dead? Uh, she is. Ta da! Okay, there's more to come. Uh, let's get him here. The good thing about the whirlwind is it kind of soaks um, the enemies around you up to yourself. So that's a neat way to get them in range. one to get them all together.
Basically, you can use the whirlwind for nearly everything. Cool. <laughs> Splatter effect of the finishing move. Oops! Okay. End boss. She's protecting herself with a shield every now and then, and when she puts her shield up, uh, you just need to kill these adds she spawned. Ah. Yes, yes, yes. Um, and then you can attack her again. You can also move while whirlwinding around. <laughs> yes, this is going to be a free-to-play game. They always said it's going to be a free-to-play game. That's not a new info in any way. Um, I know free-to-play is something a lot of people are concerned about. Oh, did you... Oh, I didn't see it already. Where is the other? I'm missing one, right? There. But regarding free-to-play in general, this whole discussion, I think it really, really, really depends on the game. You cannot just generalize on, oh, free-to-play is always bad. Um, you really have to c have a very close look at um, what this game is doing free-to-play wise. I know that there are a lot of bad free-to-play games um, that do it, uh, I don't know, wrong, but where you think, no, I'm not gonna spend any money on this. But really, you have to look at the game and then decide for yourself, is this pay to win or not? So far, I know a lot of people keep asking me about this uh, here. Um, is this pay to win or not? I don't know yet. I just don't know because I haven't seen the item shop yet. I don't, I haven't seen what this premium account stuff is so far. Mm, I can already see some things where I'd say, okay, I guess that's where you could be able to spend some real money if you want to. But, um, because I don't know what you're actually going to be paying money for in the end. I cannot say anything about it. It would be just unfair... Um, just tell you my thoughts about it, so... As soon as I know anything and as soon as I can show you something, I will, but... Right now, it's... It's hard to say because I can't find an item shop. Come on, I was just jump. I dashed into the l healing bubble, but okay. Ta done. Uh, I got my rewards. Yes. I did all the ex uh, bonus stuff, so I get some more stuff. Take reward, yes. Yeah. So far, I don't know what they are going to sell for real money. And, um, oh no. I don't know. M maybe there's also a possibility of exchanging, like, the money you can earn in-game. Like, the credits I get with every mission to the, uh, to the real uh, uh, money currency. I don't know if that's possible yet. But maybe it is. We'll have to see. Talk to the witness who saw the grave digger in Port Nair Ori. Um, I don't know. Is this? No.
Talk to the witness who saw the grave digger. Um. Well, it's not here, is it? Oh. Where is the... Oh. Wait, I was here and then I didn't talk to the witness? <laughs> Oh no, I don't want to do it again. Okay, I, we're not going to do this again. Um, except the prayer house. Is okay, F11. We're gonna do something else. The boop physics in this game are awesome. I wish I could show you right now, but. Um. The problem is I think I forgot to do something. Ah, you know what? Oh, I love completing stuff. So yes, we are going to do this again now. And uh, hopefully we're going to do it fast. I'm going to try to avoid as many mobs as possible. Um, and... I cannot avoid this dude! Oh, pressing the wrong buttons! Of course I am. How could I forget? Do stuff. Come on. Oh gosh, why is he? I wanted to do more whirlwind, and I couldn't. Can I avoid him? Can I just... <laughs> I wonder how long he's gonna follow me. Let's try this. But as he is a, uh, a boss or something, I bet he's going to follow me forever. Oh, I can't get through here. Oh, hello. Okay. And I guess we have to kill him. But I'm getting faster with this every single time I do this. But yeah, it was my own fault. Uh, I forgot to do something when I left this instant, this adventure thing. And um, come on, do it. What? Oh god, I have to do the other stuff as well. But I could be able to avoid uh, most of the mobs here. Uh. What? Is she attacking me? No!
Go. Oh. Combat resources to go. But I want to do my whirlwind. Just one more. Yeah. Faster, faster, faster. What I forgot to do was this premonition thing here on the right. Um. Oh, I see. I would have had to go. Can I like avoid the Oh, I can avoid the boss. That's nice. Run away! <gasps> Not enough combat resources! But now. That's what I forgot. Go up this ramp and talk to this dude. What took you immortals so long? The port's been blockaded by sea monsters. They're keeping the refugees from boarding any ships. And they wounded my navigator. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. So do it already. If it wasn't for me, the Kelps would have captured the ship long ago. Too bad I can't leave my wounded comrade's side, or I'd join the fight myself. Of course. Say, don't you have something to do? Ah well, since we're taking a breather, I told this story a hundred times already. Maybe someone will finally believe me. So the grave digger, he's no monster. You know okay. what I think? He's a victim. So he catches me, grabs me by the throat, and I'm thinking that's it. I'm about to join my ancestors. What a story. And then he lets me go and just stands there, shaking his head. It was like he suddenly woke up and didn't know where he was. So there he is, looking me right in the eye, like he's asking for my forgiveness. I took off. I didn't even know what to think. Maybe he isn't an enemy at all, just a beast caught in a trap. What a tragic villain. Like Illidan a little bit, although Illidan is a cool villain, but I don't, I haven't never met the grave digger i don't know maybe he's a cool guy somehow um so what do you want to eliminate kelp protector i know i really don't want to do that yeah. but while we're here we can just kill this boss again um Come on, dash. Ta-da! Pick up an orb. Rinse and repeat. Dash! Because Mrs. Naga here on the side that just joined the fight... Uh, ...is dropping these water bubbly things. No, I don't want to attack you. Dash. Pick up bubble. Mm. Yep, dash. 
don't want to get too much damage here. What is he doing? Like, what do I have? <laughs> Perform finish and strike. Oh, that's a different bonus than the last time. Mm. I will not be able to complete. Yeah, I mean, somebody who's called Grave Digger has to be a cool guy. It sounds a bit, a li little bit like, uh, like a wrestling name. <laughs> Was it, wasn't there a wrestler called Grave Digger? I mean, that's a very long time ago since I last saw some wrestling stuff, but... Please help me, if you n know who I mean, that's like really, really long ago. I mean, I was a child. <laughs> Can I get a finishing move? No. She's going crazy with her water bubbles. Yeah. I guess this must be a little bit easier for mm, ranged classes. Because I guess they won't have to oh, avoid these bubbly things that often. She's nearly dead. Like healing orbs. Yes. Ah, go. <laughs> Is there some sort of leveling in Skyforge? Um. Well, you don't really level your character in a classical way. Um, like to a max level of 50 or 100 or whatever, um, you have this uh, sphere grid, I call it. It's this atlas. Um, where is it again? The extension atlas, which looks like a sphere grid from Final Fantasy. And this is kind of like a leveling thing here, because with all the adventures and missions you do, you collect sparks. You see, they have different colors. This orange, green, and blue one. And with these sparks, you unlock bonuses and new skills on this extension atlas for your class and for every class you play you have to unlock you have a different extension atlas where have you, where you have to unlock everything per class uh, with one character you can play all classes that are available in this game um so this is basically what, what you could call uh, leveling yes improve your gear that's some sort of leveling thing to do um but not in a classical way, like, yeah, max level is 100. Go collect your experience points and get to that level. Okay, do the last boss again, and I hope we're finished then with this uh, adventure thing here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> lazy Sunday, yeah. This is definitely a lazy Sunday for me, I'm gaming. And then after the stream I have to do some, you know, washing up and so on, but... Until then, I play a little Skyforge and show you what I do with my Berserker. And, um... Like all dead. Where is there? Should be a third one. Did I kill all three of them? No. Am I missing one? No. I was just too fast. Her shield was still up. Um. Nemita has no chance. I'm gonna call her anyway, but... She thinks she has a chance, but she doesn't. your whirlwinds up here. Yes! Done. Collect all my stuff to get my reward. Go back and hopefully continue with the main quest line. Ich bin mir noch nicht sicher, ob das Schwert groß genug ist. I'm not sure if the sword is big enough. No, it's not. It's not. I I really want I really want to have a new sword. I want to know if there are different styles of swords. Um, really, um, I want to know. I have no idea so far if there are any other no. If there are any other type of swords. And the report with witnesses. Yes. Talk to Harida. Now you're gonna see boob action. Storm clouds are gathering over Aeon. <coughs> Alarming news has come to the Divine Observatory from all corners of the planet. Mm -hmm. You've managed to clear out Dankit Island. But I'm afraid that isn't enough. The birds are running rampant all over our lands, like they're setting up some kind of diversion. They found themselves a new lair. And we could just wipe them out, but it would be better to find out what they're planning. The Gravedigger might be behind this. Of course it's the Gravedigger. Yes, please. But your eyes won't be enough. What? If the Gravedigger is actually appearing on Oki Island, we need to set up a surveillance camera there. Patience mm -hmm. can yield more than brute force. Okay. I guess we have to help. Oki Oki Island. That's what we're gonna do. Da -da. Prestige is important for every immortal. With the recognition of the mortals, then you will be trusted with more difficult and important missions. Okay. Well we have to get prestige. Um is this no we we have to go to Oki Island? Here, I guess. Difficulty hard. That's gonna be interesting again. <laughs> Yesterday the difficulty, uh, uh, the, the very difficult mission I did um, was very difficult, but I managed to get through it. This is so. where we got into trouble. We tried to send a distress signal, but couldn't. They completely overpowered us. Okay. There's an okay there. Burrows are all over Alien. Sneak into the heart of the island and eradicate the pests. 
Okay. Um. Yeah. Our squad was scouting the area at Lana's command. We expected to find Vert here, but had no idea they'd be carrying out dark rituals. Go back, Jim. We pushed deeper into the island, and suddenly ghostly hands started to emerge from the ground. They caught us off guard, and Verd used that moment to attack us. They killed most of our squad, and dragged the rest off to their burrows. We had to fall back. Some of our men could have survived. Try to find them, and make those creatures pay. Yes, I will. Okay. Find the people, kill the creatures. Or, as the quest says, scout the area. Oh, hello! Okay, they died uh, quickly. But I think that's just... Start. No. What are you doing? Kill him. Finish him. Yes. What's this hand coming out of this weird thing there? It's kind of creepy. Yeah, don't grab me. are healing your enemies use them to recover your strength okay um ooh, ooh. hello boss <laughs> this creature killed many of our men yes watch out for the axe so as soon as he starts swinging the axe i guess i sh should just run away Stop. Don't stand in the fire. Ah, yeah, don't stay stand in the fire. Um that's um always a good tip. Oh. <laughs> but don't dash into the fire and get I mean I'm gonna have a problem if there's fire everywhere soonish, I guess. Did you? Okay, now you did. Oh. Yep. Come here. But I like that the bosses, like, you, you do all the solo stuff and you, they have, like, these whoop abilities and you have to come up with, like, little strategies on what to do. I like that. It's not like tank and spank all the time, which is nice. Whoops, I didn't um, look at that.
be there. He's doing it again. Come here. Mm, but then once you know what to do, uh, it's just rinse and repeat. But I guess that's okay. What's a cartridge? Oh, that's a gunner thing. Um. Eighty percent more impulse than. Oh, might low will deal twenty-five percent more damage. Um. The swords all look the same. Which is kind of sad. But, well, okay. Uh, oh, I wanted to use one of these. And I get more sparks uh, with my adventures. This direction, the right direction, uh, yes. Oh, hello. But they do die pretty quick. Hello. Bam, 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 bam. Come on, fishing move. Sometimes it takes forever. Um, 